In the EU-funded project FI Content, IRT has developed a technical framework which allows to connect HBB TV devices to second screens like tablets or smartphones. The applications on the TV set and the second screen can communicate with each other and thus the TV can be controlled by the second screen. What does usage of this framework look like? Here we see the HBB TV teletext application of RBB starting on the TV screen. This teletext application offers a menu item to connect to a second screen. When selecting this item, the teletext application loads a generic component from the IoT second screen framework. If no connection to a second screen had been established before, a QR code pops up and asks the user to read this code with his mobile device. Via this QR code, a launcher application is started on the tablet which is also a generic part of the second screen framework. Now a connection of both devices is established and the teletext application is started again on the TV screen. The communication between the two devices is still active and can be used by the teletext to start a mobile version of the teletext on the tablet. The application on the tablet can then be used to navigate the application on the TV screen. Various subpages of the teletext can be made visible on the TV screen as they are selected on the tablet. The application on the tablet can also tell the TV application to make itself invisible and navigation takes place only on the tablet. Others can now watch TV without being disturbed. Of course, the TV application can also be made visible again. What does the technical concept of this framework look like? We are watching TV and we are offered to start an HBB TV application by pressing the red button. In our example, this is again the RBB Teletext application, which is loaded from a web server. If we want to connect to a tablet, we make use of the second screen framework, which is hosted on a separate web server. The teletext application loads a module from the second screen framework. This module tells the teletext application that no device has been connected yet to the TV set. So the teletext starts another module from the framework, which handles the first device connection. This module assigns a new device ID to the TV set which is stored in a local cookie. It also draws a QR code on the screen and asks the user to scan this code with his tablet. All usual QR code reading apps can be used to scan the code. The code contains an URL loading a specific launcher application on the tablet. As a parameter of the URL in the QR code, the tablet passes also the device ID of the TV set to the framework server. The server notes this ID and sends back a new device ID for the tablet, which is also stored locally in a cookie. The framework keeps the information in its database, which IDs belong to the coupled devices. Now a persistent coupling of both devices is achieved. On the TV set, the teletext application is started again. Using the still active component of the framework on the TV set, the HBB TV teletext application can send the URL of a mobile version of the teletext to the launcher application on the tablet. This makes use of active connections from both devices to the framework server. This way, the mobile version of the teletext is started on the tablet by the launcher application. Now both versions of the teletext are running and by using the components of the second screen framework they can exchange information via the framework server. This can be used to control the content on the TV screen via the tablet. When both devices are switched off later only the cookies with the device IDs remain plus a database entry in the framework server. 
when tuning to a different program later and starting an HBBTV video service there, the video application can also load the component from the second screen server. In this case, no new connection is required. The user just starts the launcher application again on his tablet and immediately a communication path is established between HBBTV application and tablet. The video application can send the URL of its mobile version, which is then launched on the tablet. And in the same way as before, both applications can communicate and the user can, via the tablet, select video content to be shown on the TV screen. Thus, the second screen framework, here we have the IRT team behind that framework, provides a communication system which is easy to use for both service developers and end users. Service developers do not have to care for technical details of device connections and end users can use one generic launching app for a number of HBBTV services.